How you doing guys? Bioinformatics guy here and welcome to another video of the series Machine Learning in Bioinformatics. In the previous videos we have downloaded the data and we have also done the pre-processing of the data. In this video we will be doing the training and testing of the models. We will split the data into the training data and the testing data then we will use two classifiers SVC and logistic regression. So let's get started. First of all let's import a few things. We will be needing train test split, logistic regression and SVC. So let's move on to splitting our data into training and testing. So we need X train X test Y train Y test. The Y's are supposed to be small. Now we are going to use the train and test split. We are supposed to give the X and the Y. Our test size is going to be 0 0.1. 0.1 means that the 10% of the data will be used as test and the remaining 90% will be used to train the data. And then we can also set the random state. Random state equals to 0. That's how we are going to split the data. Uh, let's run this and see that there is no errors. Okay, fine. So let's start the training. We will first go for the SVC classifier so defining a classifier is very easy we just have to write down the name of our classifier say classifier equals to svc and close brackets that's how easy it is the next is we have to define our model model equals to classifier dot fit and then we have to give the data it will be x train comma y train so the first line of code will define the model and the second line of code will train the model over here we have to check the accuracy so we can say it accuracy equals to model dot core core we are going to check the accuracy on the test data so x test comma y test and let's print the accuracy print accuracy of svc is ac accurate let's run this so we got 98 percent accuracy that's very darn good as you know in the first video i mentioned that we will get much more accuracy than the previous studies which was i guess around 93 so it is also giving us a warning and it's so uh, it's saying that you you need to set the gamma value so uh, we can do this by defining the kernel so we can say that kernel equals to linear let's run this again and see if the warning is gone uh oh i messed up the linear spelling l i n e a r Okay, now the warning is gone and the accuracy is decreased and uh, with the linear kernel we are not getting good accuracy we are getting 95 percent accuracy so let's try another classifier logistic regression now you might get confused that this is logistic regression and regression is mostly when you are trying to predict the continuous values but here we are doing binary classification but the thing is the name of this is a bit confusing and it is going to do the same classification so we will do the same thing classifier equals to logistic regression and then model equals to classifier dot fit and in the brackets we are going to we are going to give it a training data y train and then accuracy equals to model dot score and x uh, test comma y test now let's print the accuracy let's copy it okay and we are gonna do it logistic regression all right let's see uh, what's the accuracy of logistic regression oh the accuracy of logistic regression is 97 percent and we are also getting some warnings over here it's saying that the default solver will be changed so we need to uh, specify the solver and we can do that in the bracket over here and let's solver solver equals to let's use lib linear now you might be wondering from where i know that this we can keep the kernel as linear or lib linear 
Now the thing is, let me show you that you can go to the website. You can simply Google it, logistic regression, uh, sklearn, and you can see that what are the different kernels and solvers available for this logistic regression classifier and you can use according to your needs. Now if you want to go deep into it then you can start to learn uh, what is the basic difference between the solvers and what is the dif basic difference between the kernels and what is kernel basically. So this is a basic tutorial and, and I'm not going to explain everything. This is just to implement the machine learning classifiers and models for a very simple data. Here are different solvers, right? We can use any of the solvers, but liblinear works best with this. So we will use this solver. Wow, we got 97% accuracy and that's pretty good. Now that's all for today. We are done with training our models. And in the next video, we will be making some prediction. So don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the next video which is going to be really interesting. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next video.